Yes, so hello everybody, it's Ray from Ray's United and I'm back with another segment and this time round we're talking about Pi Mainnet has been delayed. Now has it or has it not? Well we don't know that but what we know is there's a lot going on that in the next minutes, few minutes, lend me your ears, lend me your eyes, keep them peeled and you're gonna know if it's actually delayed and if it is delayed then what's causing the delay and what's causing the delay and how we can prevent it and what could be done to ensure that the delay doesn't last for too long if indeed there is a delay however you know what I, how i do my things this is ray from race united my channel is growing you're helping it grow and right now things are going great do you know what I mean? So look, smash the like button, smash the notification button, smash the subscribe button, share everything, and let's get this going. I will be right back. <laughs> Yes, so I'm back. This is Ray from Race United and you're here on my channel. Let's do this. So, what am I going to talk about? Well, first of all, Pi has had a release date. So the expected release date or the previous expected release date wasn't stated. I broke it to you guys as to the period, the period within which it was going to be released. And that period was going to be towards the end of this year, which is Q4 and the earlier part of Q, Q, uh, Q1 of 2022 that those were the periods within which we expected um, Pi to be launched on the exchange or going to mainnet which is phase three now I'll say later as to whether that date will hold or that period is going to hold or if there's going to be another renewed revised expected release date now what you need to know is the expected release date like, like I said was that period that's what we expected but a lot of things have happened over the past few weeks and i'm going to tell you reasons why all of those things have happened and the reasons why these are happening and what's causing it again i'm tautology myself so uh, i can tell you that yeah the, the reasons why it happened or why it's happening if indeed it's happening and you will know all of that and please don't get yourselves all twisted pies on the move Pies on the go. A lot of people know that this is going to be a successful cryptocurrency. And remember, Pi is green as well. And because it's green, nobody can take anything away from us. Nobody. Remember that. Nobody. Nothing is going to happen until we say it's going to happen. You understand? So I'm going to tell you a lot after this segment is done, which is in the next segment, and you're going to know exactly what's causing this and what could be done to prevent it and then of course the revised um date that pi could actually be launched on the exchange i will be right back <laughs> so i'm back yes so the reasons why or the reason why pi is actually um probably going to be delayed i said it on my my previous live phone in show I didn't give any details because I told you that I was going to say it in this particular segment that I'm releasing. So, this particular video I'm releasing. So, right now, you're going to know it from here. That the reason why Pi is going to be delayed is that by the time we're thinking of launching onto the exchange, that would have to proceed as a result of KYC being successfully rolled, rolled out. You understand? So, if it hadn't been successfully rolled out, then we can't get into mainnet. Now, the problem we have is uh, we, we, at that time will be more than 30 million. Now, 30 million is a lot of people. That's population of countries. And even when countries are doing a consensus, so they're doing a census, you know how, much it, how long it lasts for them to finish it? It takes a very long time for census to be finished. So how can we actually KYC more than 30 million people by the time we think of launching? or before we think of launching it's going to take a while 
You get what I'm saying? It's going to take a while. And as a result, there is going to be a delay. I can tell you that here and now, that there's going to be a delay. Now, before, I was trying to tell you because uh, I hadn't got a uh, confirmation as to whether there was going to be a delay or not. There were hints and stuff. But right now, I can tell you there's going to be a delay. And the delay is not going to be too long. I'll give you the expected day in the next segment of this video. But right now, you should know that the reason why the delay is occurring or is about to occur is because of the fact that KYC is going to take a bit longer to be rolled out. So it's going to be rolled out soon, the next weeks. So towards the end of this year uh, or sometime in December, it's going to be rolled out. Now, when it's rolled out, the expectation is it's going to last a bit longer because there's so many people that need to be KYC'd. In some countries, KYC is extremely complicated because of the nature of uh, IDs that they have. You understand? Some of them don't have the biometric ones or the digital ones. You get what I'm saying? So they have to use manual means to actually corroborate their IDs. And to do that, there's a lot of processes that have to take place in order for that to gain ground. Now, that is also going to take a lot of resources, manpower to do that. You know, so people might volunteer actually to be able to, you know, uh, help the core team undertake that. So it's going to be a huge undertaking. Do you know what I mean? So this is going to cause a delay, but it's a good thing because we want a good thing for us. If we've waited for more than two years, we can wait for a few weeks or a few months. We can, can't we? Say it. Smash the like button. Smash the like button if you know we can. Smash the like button because we can. We can wait. We will wait. You get what I'm saying? So th there is no problem. There is no hiccup, no technical issues. Everything is going on. It's going perfectly for the core team. But the delay is not as a result of anything to do with Pi directly. It's mostly to do with the fact that KYC is going to take a bit longer. You get what I'm saying? So don't fret. Don't uh, panic. Everything is going to be okay. All right? Everything is going to be okay. I will be right back. Yes, so I'm back. The core team is still hoping... This is it, yeah? The core team is still hoping to ensure that the date of release or the period within which mainnet is going to be launched is still the same. They're hoping for that. They're really, really pushing for that. But it's all dependent on how long it takes for KYC to be rolled out. You understand what I'm saying? So all of us need to work hard to ensure that we have the right IDs so there wouldn't be delays. Because they don't want to leave anybody behind. They don't want to do that. They want everybody to be on board this huge project. They want everybody to be on board. And to do that, IDs have to be perfect. You understand? Flawless is the word. So we need flawless IDs. And to do that, all of you, and I mean that all of you, need to ensure that everything is on board. However, if this date... The expected date, I mean the previous expected date or period within which we expect um, Pi to be launched doesn't gain ground, then the revised expected date, the revised expected date is probably around the latter part of the first quarter of 2022, which means it could be late February, early March, probably towards um, 314, which is March 14th towards that so definitely it's not going to exceed that we could celebrate mainnet on march 14th it's possible people don't want it to push back to that extent however it could happen so let me give you a recap of this particular one the recap is we're hoping pi core team is hoping that the rollout of kyc i mean mass kyc doesn't get too complicated as they expect it to be so if it doesn't get too complicated as they expect it to be, which will be dependent on you, dependent on you, then they wouldn't have a problem. However, if they encounter the complications that they expect to happen and it delays or it extends or prolongs the process of KYC, then we're going to have mainnet being pushed back. And mainnet could be pushed back as a result to the latter part of Q1. That's the first quarter of 2022 being around february ending or early part of march and if it's early part of march then they will push for the date to be closer to march 14th which is 314 you get what i mean so hey 
the, the stars might have aligned for this to happen. Nobody knows. The stars might have aligned for this to happen. And if the stars have aligned, then who are we to say that we don't want it to happen around 314? Yeah, if it happens around that, I can wait. I've waited for more than two years. I can wait for a few months. You know what I'm saying? Can't you? Tell me you can't wait for a few months. Of course you can. All of you can. You, my people, can wait for a few months. Can't you now? Of course you can. So yes, let's do this. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so in conclusion, what did I speak about? I spoke about the previous expected date of the main mainnet to be launched. I spoke about that and I also told you that it might not happen. Remember that, it might not happen. So I told you it might not happen. And the reason why it might not happen is because KYC might be more complicated than um, the, the core team might have thought because everybody is using Yoti or anything close to Yoti that's going to be straightforward but not everybody has the necessary or the required ID for them to be verified on Yoti so as a result they have to use other means you know manpower is required and if manpower is required it means it's going to take a bit longer and it's going to take a bit longer because we, are, we will be more than 30 million strong at that time you understand so if we're more than 30 million strong at that time then you know it's going to take even longer even though we're going to do it virtually some of them probably physically depending on which country you are it's still going to take a bit more time to undertake the kyc process you get what i'm saying so all these are going to happen and they'll culminate in the fact that mainnet will probably be delayed until now remember everything i'm saying is not absolute certainty but it's information i've got so because i've got the information i need to deliver it to you so it could be delayed probably till the latter part of Q1 of 2022. And what's the latter part of Q1 of 2022? Well, we all know it to be either late February or the earlier part towards the end of March. But they won't let it go that far to the end of March. So if they want to do it, then they might push it back till probably the latest part will be March 14th, 2022, which will be Pi Day. So... All roads are probably leading towards Pi Day. You get what I'm saying? All roads are leading towards Pi Day. So, hey, guys, I am here. I'm happy for everything that the core team is doing. Aren't you happy? I know you are. So let's all come together and be one big family like we always have been on my channel. And let's help the channel grow as well, just as we're helping Pi grow. The name is Ray. The channel is Ray's United. And the word is peace.